Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome to this week's Magic the Gathering gameplay, which is a mono-white quest mirror match between me and my friend Kyle. I kept an opening hand on the play, which consisted of an Apostle's Blessing, a Glint Hawk, a Step Links, a Core Sky Fisher, a Quest for the Holy Relic, one Squadron Hawk, and a Plains. Kyle threw two back before finally taking a five-card hand of three Plains, a Squadron Hawk, and a Signal Pest. I started the game off by playing my quest for the Holy Relic, and then Kyle quickly commented that he probably would have had a better chance of winning with his original 7 card hand. For Kyle's first turn, he played a Signal Pest. Then I followed it up by playing and cracking an Arid Mesa, going down to 19 to search for a Plains. I then cast a Squadron Hawk and searched for 3 more, getting 7 cards total in my hand. Kyle then played a second Signal Pest and passed the turn. I then played a core Sky Fisher, bringing my quest up to two counters and bouncing my planes. I then replayed the planes and cast the step links, bringing the quest up to three. On Kyle's next turn, he played a Squadron Hawk and a Mim Knight and searched for three more Hawks. I then resolved a Signal Pest, bringing my quest up to four counters and then bounced it with a Glint Hawk, bringing the quest up to five. I then sacrificed the quest to search for an Argentum Armor and equipped it to my core Sky Fisher. I attacked the Skyfisher, killing Kyle's Squadron Hawk and hitting him for 8 damage, taking him down to 12. Kyle then ripped an Oblivion Ring off the top of his library and opted to get rid of my armor rather than the creature in thoughts that the game might get dragged out and I'd be able to equip the armor later. I did still have flying creatures though, so I attacked Kyle for 5 in the air next turn, taking him down to 7 life. Then post-combat, I replayed my Signal Pest. Kyle then got rid of my core Sky Fisher with the second Oblivion Ring. He then attacked with his team for 5 damage, taking me down to 14 life. I started off my next turn by attacking with my team for 6 damage, taking Kyle down to 1. I then played a second Glint Hawk to bounce my Signal Pest and replayed it. Kyle then resolved 2 Squadron Hawks and an Ornithopter, giving him enough creatures to block to stay alive. However, I drew a Contested War Zone, allowing me to pump my creatures and do damage with my Signal Pest, giving me the win. 